Hello, Cole. I want to again thank you for coming. You did a superb job. Sky's the limit on how good you can get, man. Just uh, just keep plugging. You did really well while you were here. You improved a great deal. and Who knows? You can only be as good as you can get, man. Just keep practicing really hard. First off, you can see on this picture on the left that uh, your grip is awfully strong with your right hand, which is causing your club face... Go ahead and turn it back. Causing your club face to go ahead and shut down. You won't see it here so much as you'll see it from this picture on the right. We're halfway back, which is right about there. The club is not only way inside, but shut down. So remember, handle in, club head out. Make sure the handle is staying close to your body as you swing away. Club head moves away from your body. That alone kind of squares your blade up. Now, by fixing your grip, making sure that your right V, back over here, your right V is actually pointing towards your right shoulder, not, you know, outside your right hip, where it's way too strong. Um, by changing that, that should fix your blade alone. But again, don't let your hands move away from your body so fast. Now, going to the top on the picture on the left, you'll see your left shoulder doesn't quite get behind the ball. I like to see you increase your shoulder turn. Work on strength, uh, flexibility. Try to get your shoulders turning back a little bit greater. Um, but great coil between your hip turn and your shoulder turn. Tremendous, uh, tr tremendous coil. Um, that's why you hit the ball so far, because you really coil up hard and unwind from the ground. Picture on the right going to the top. Club face is fairly, let's see, oh, fairly square, a little shot, not a big deal. Let's get to the top there. Pretty much on plane. You're looking good. Nice little window there over your right shoulder. Um, you can see how there's no gap between your knees here. This would mean that you are coiling hard. Um, looking pretty darn good there, my friend. Looking pretty good. Um, so disregard anything at the top. Otherwise, just just try to try to increase your shoulder turn a little bit. Work on flexibility. Now, as we come down, back to this picture. You unwind from the ground really well, but your biggest problem is really jumping off your right side. You see how your right knee is way far ahead. Um, your right knee should be back in here. Cool. It's way too far out in head. And when you get off your right side too quick, your hands have to play catch up and flip. And then, you know, your ball will tend to go right, left. Well, then again, you are in the Army. Left, right, get it? That's a joke. Anyway, uh, try to slow down your lower body a little bit. Try to keep your right foot on the ground longer. Remember the impact position drill, something we worked on. Let's look at your way down on the one to the right. You can see you come down from the inside pretty darn good. You get it underneath real well. But here I should see your left cheek, not your whole, you know, hip turn. I... You're really jumping off your right side. Keep your right foot on the ground. Uh, right foot back drill is good for you. Feet together drill for balance. Sometimes you were off balance, but that wasn't the main thing. Keep your right heel down and work on that impact drill as long as or as, as much as you possibly can. As you come through, we'll finish on that side. Come back to the one on the front. There we are. As you go through, a little flipping with your hands. Do you remember that left side control drill where I put your right hand on top of your left and a little talon to your left arm, that kind of helped you uh, helped you not use your right hand so much. That, that's what was making your ball get high in the air. That's what causing you to hit those high shots because you were flipping your hands. And when you flip, you turn, say, a 7-iron into an 8 or a 9-iron because your right hand is flipping it through. And that is only caused by your body going this way too quick, getting off your right side too fast. This would be a great impact right here with your lower body. Hips are cleared about 35 degrees, a little air into your heel. Weight about 70% left, not 100% left at impact. As you come through, looking real good. Just a little flip there at the bottom. Great balance finish. Looking great, great working with you, Cole. Keep in touch. Get a hold of me at any time. You got my card, you got my number. Please keep in touch, and I hope to see you soon again. Have a wonderful day, my friend. And good luck in Hawaii. Don't catch too big a wave over there.